So this is a uh, Trippin C uh, planetarium. It's uh, non-mechanical, but it does feature the whole solar system, including Pluto. It's vintage, of course, before uh, Pluto got uh, excommunicated from the system. And uh, Earth even has its uh, satellite. And it's even got a little uh, uh, spot for the asteroid belt with nothing on it. I always thought if I could find a piece of a small little piece of pumice rock, I'd glue it on there, but I never did. In any case, I bought this on eBay. Uh, it was under $100. Uh, nobody was looking at the time, I guess, because I ended up selling this for $325. You may remember uh, years past, I uh, had picked up a Tippet game that wasn't complete and sold all the parts for uh, quite a bit more than they uh, typically go for. Uh, I found this at a uh, online auction, pretty cheap, and uh, it's got every part. So I decided to sell it as a complete game, but I asked a lot of money for it. And uh, being the holiday season, somebody wanted it, I'm sure, for Christmas, and it sold for $60. Another item off the uh, free console stereo I picked up uh, a couple weeks ago, these are the... Uh, lid hinges and uh, this one's actually spring-loaded adjustable to keep the lid up when you put it up this one is just a, a dummy one that goes on the other side and uh yeah these this uh, set up sold for 25 bucks uh, this is a uh, holly four barrel carburetor that was uh i believe i just found it at a garage sale pretty cheap this one is uh, was made for a ford product probably from the uh, 70s and uh, I I have rebuilt carburetors but it's not my forte so I just decided to list this as is for somebody that does rebuild them and uh, kind of funny not too long ago I read a story about a, a, a high school girl in Florida who was taught by her father how to rebuild these and she's created a little business and has employed some of her friends to uh, do this and I just noticed that this uh, carburetor is going to Florida. I'll have to look up the uh, story again, see if it uh, is going to them. In any case, this uh, carburetor sold for $50. Another uh, antenna from my collection of vintage television antennas has sold. This is uh, originally made by RCA, although this style carried many different uh, brand names on it. Uh, this was called a Starliner, but the uh, letters have broken off that little emblem. But uh, yeah, I polished this one up, put a new cord on it. It works fine. You can uh, adjust the uh, reception with this. It doesn't really correspond to the channels on your TV, but it uh, gives the uh, user some sense of uh, control over the uh, reception. And uh, it's got a a nice uh, marbled uh, Bakelite case, and this sold for $75. This is a portable AM, FM uh, radio and uh, eight track player that I uh, picked up uh, fairly cheap because it wasn't working and I had to put a new belt and clean everything up, get it working just fine. It's made by Emerson. It is missing its, I guess that used to say stereo in that little spot there, um, but, uh, it's been up for quite some time. It finally sold full price for uh, $150. This is the Wherever Super Shooter electric candy maker, cookie press. Um, very common. I usually pick up one or two of these at garage sales in the summer, and they usually sell right around Christmas time, as did this. And uh, this one sold for $35. Another cup and saucer set from the Iroquois uh, collection of uh, dishes that I bought several years ago and have just been selling them piece by piece. Made quite a bit of money off these. And uh, this is in the uh, lettuce green color. These are uh, uh, Iroquois by Russell Wright. And again, this uh, little set sold for uh, 10 bucks. Well, this is a uh, Coleman Lantern. It's a double mantle, model 275. I had to replace uh, one of the uh, mantle uh, 
wicks that you can just buy at hardware stores. Um, and uh, I just had to replace one of them, so I included the extra one there. Um, I took a, pictures of this after I lit it up. Um, these are pretty cool. I've had this for a long time, and it comes with this uh, clamshell case as well. And I hung on to it, not putting it up for sale because they didn't seem to be going for much. But uh, perhaps uh, with recent uh, things going on, uh, more people are looking for this kind of uh, primitive lighting apparatus. Uh, I even put uh, prepper in uh, as one of my uh, keywords. I don't know if that helped or not. But this did sell for $130. Well, this is a classic trucker hat, uh, you know, foam front mesh back with a snapback adjuster. And this one's uh, from a lumber company out of uh, Darrington, Washington. Now, I found this at a uh, uh, church sale uh, just this last fall. Uh, inevitably, somebody brings a box full of uh, trucker hats, and some are good, some are bad. I just pick, cherry pick the best ones and get them for a quarter a piece. And uh, this one sold for $18. Mm -hmm.